It seems not a year goes by when there isn't a new video game, movie, or television show about the end of the world as we know it. If Gears of War, Mad Max, or The Walking Dead are what you're into, you need to read The Road by Cormac McCarthy. It is the story of a father and his young son who day in and day out walk the endless roads through the endless ruins of a vividly described world devastated by an unidentified catastrophe, which has left the world cold and gray and without apparent hope for recovery. The nameless father and son are on a journey to the Gulf Coast in hopes of finding a warmer climate, knowing they won't likely survive another winter if they are unsuccessful. Like most apocalyptic stories, the characters struggle to overcome hunger, cold, and other survivors who want to steal from them, enslave them, or even eat them, and a world which seems to do its best to slow them down through a never-ending cold covered in continuously increasing layers of ash. In such a world, some might wonder why the father and son keep going. There are other characters in the book who just give up. The answer to this question is found early on in the book when McCarthy writes, Then they sat out along the blacktop in the gunmetal light, shuffling through the ash, each the other's world entire. What keeps them going is each other. They hope, endure, and live for each other. Along with McCarthy's excellent writing about a world turned upside down, the relationship between the father and son are what kept me up at night later than I realized to find out how the story ends. Give the road a try. To me, it is one of the best books you could ever read. If, you've, if you have read The Road and would be more interested in other books by Cormac McCarthy, you should give No Country for Old Men a chance. I love this novel as well. And this year is the 10th anniversary since the film it inspired won the Oscar for Best Picture. As is often the case, the book is better. Finally, if po post-apocalyptic fiction is your thing, you might also consider the Fire Sermon Trilogy by Francesca Haig, which might be best described as The Road Meets Hunger Games. Other post-apocalyptic series you might consider are The Last Policeman Trilogy by Ben Winters, The Fifth Season Trilogy by N.K. Jemison and the Rot and Ruin series by Jonathan Mayberry. Each of these series brings their own unique takes on a post-apocalyptic world. Come down to the library and check out any of these books before the books are gone, or we are.